Welcome back, Soul Tribe. I know a lot of my followers are electronic producers and also songwriters that are looking to get into the electronic space. So I thought that it would be pretty cool to show you my process and how I write songs and get them ready to pitch to DJs. What you're gonna be witnessing us do today is basically what I would consider a simple top line. When we are writing songs and pitching to DJs, you don't wanna overproduce the track because the DJ has their own style and you wanna leave it open to be able to fit into any DJ style. So why don't we go ahead and get started, Reed? E <laughs> Oh my Production God. <laughs> time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game, here to get started on our instrumental. Oof. So when I'm starting a song, I like to start out with a MIDI progression. And we have some MIDI packs at Whole Loops called Pop and Progressions, where your chords are categorized into major and minor. And since we're doing an EDM song, let's see what the minor chord progressions sound like. You can preview them as audio in a piano or as a synth, or you have the MIDI clips right up here. So I usually like to go down to the synths, pick which one I want to take as MIDI. So let's go to synth number one. These are all like a 100 beats per minute tempo, but we're going to speed them up. Maybe we'll do pianos instead. I think these are all going to be plucky. Mm. I like this. Yeah, let's try this one. Ooh, this one is a vibe. Yeah, I like that. So when me and Reed are songwriting together, it's important that, you know, everyone in the room is happy with the direction and the chords are a huge part of that. I'll typically know when I hear the right chord progression for what I'm writing that day. It kind of just hits me. It's more of an intuition thing. And you're going to hear me say that a lot throughout this process. I'm really big on intuition. And I think music in general should be intuitive based instead of a mechanical thing. Thing and calculated thing. So yeah. Sorry, while you're doing that, I was going ahead and opening up a piano. With pop and progressions, you get the audio file if you want to just loop. This is actually the chord progression playing through my Juno 106 in the actual sample pack. Or if you want the MIDI, you could just grab the MIDI file. So I'll just use the audio to get us going quicker. I believe the tempo on this was originally 105. Or maybe it was 100. Oh, it was 100. And I'm definitely going to speed this up too because this feels extremely slow to me. But these audio files actually help you get started a lot quicker. So let's warp this, switch it into Complex Pro because that's probably the best mode for speeding up your sample. And let's, since we're trying to make more of like a melodic bass song, let's try and do a, a faster tempo, like 160. Nice. I like that. That felt a little too fast. Now when he's figuring all of this stuff out, like tempo and finalizing a sound, I'm going in and making a note or sharing a Google Doc with my co-writers and just jotting down maybe some words that I think of when I hear the chord progression and obviously some melodies. Okay, so you're kind of just <laughs> seeing my juices start flowing if I'm hearing a melody and- Re Try and record that. Yeah, let's record it, let's see. Three. Say you want me, hold me. Say you hurt out loud. And now you wanna shake me. But last time you keep me on out. Okay, so I really like that, but I'm thinking maybe I can switch up the melody slightly the second time I sing it. But let me hear that back first. Since there's a little pickup, instead of starting at the beginning, I'm going to leave a little intro. So Perfect. This, yeah, that'll make it easier to start it too. Yeah. And here it is. Say you want me, hold me. Say you hurt out loud. And now you want to shake me. But last time you keep me on out Typically, to get me in the songwriting mood and kind of in that headspace, I like to throw a vocal chain on there. So why don't you go ahead and do that? Put auto tune, whatever Let's you think see. would sound Let's good. Let's go for lead vocal sauce from Whole Loops. Perfect. 
What key is this in? This is going to be in A minor. Okay, cool. Type in my favorite auto tune. Yes. UAD real time. Actually, let's take the mono one since we're just putting this on in her voice. Yeah, mixing the vocal as you go and having that ready for whatever singer you're working with is something that I can't live without because it helps with the process. Say you want me, want me. Say you hate your heart out loud. And now you want to save me. But last time you keep me on can you just mute my vocal that I just recorded and I just want to try something else? Songwriting is all about trial and error, trying different things, maybe editing something, but I like to move pretty quickly in my sessions. So this is what I do. I record melodies, I edit them down, and then I write my lyrics. And since Ableton 11 is out now, we can right click and show take lanes. And here's all the first two recordings that we didn't even keep. I thought those were gone, but boom, there they are. But I'm just going to get rid of them and put this one down there because we do want to keep this like she said, but now we just don't have to hear it. Let's go and record again. I'll start you halfway through the... Cool. Say you wanna help me And I say you keep hating out I know you wanna save me And I say you feel it out loud Alright, one more time, one more time. Let's perfect it now. Two. You say you wanna help me You know you feel it out loud I know you wanna save me And I say you feel it Try clicking your mic gain down when it sounds like we're getting near the, the top where it's almost clipping. All right, cool. Can I just hear that back though? Yep. You say you want to follow me, you know you feel it out loud. I know you want to save me, I know say you feel it, I know it loud. You say love for my causes, you say love in love, baby. I have a different idea for that transition into my pre for my verse. I don't know if you guys are catching these little tweaks that I'm making, but in my original idea, it was a little bit too busy. So I basically just simplified my melody to make it digestible for the listener. Since it's the verse, it's the first thing that people are hearing. Delete that part and let me just try something else going into there. Instead of deleting it, we're going to keep it in the playlist. <laughs> yes. Always keep everything because yeah. you never know. You never know what you're going to need. Yeah. In love for my causes. In love for basically, I just want to move that rhythm around a little bit. I like the notes, but the rhythm's not exactly what I want it to be. It's in the kill my calls if it left it love. Okay. Wanna say me and I say you feel it, I know it. It's in the kill my calls. It's in love in love, babe. You can love somebody call it. I want to set myself up for the hook, which I want to be a bigger hook, a little bit higher notes. So I just need to find the right movement and the right notes to get there. I'm just going to experiment with a couple more things. Let me do that whole pre one more time. Now, for those who don't understand the terms that I'm using, right where Reed's mouse is, that is the verse. Uh, usually the verse is the first thing you hear in a typical structure. And then the second part of that verse where the melody slightly changes, I consider that the pre-chorus, which is our set up for the chorus. And that's not like a permanent structure that you need to follow. That's just like the most general go-to structure that would actually really help you get an idea flowing quickly. Can you also give me a click? It'll yep. be a lot easier for me to... That. Let me turn the click on. I don't know why. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. Cause I don't know why. Let's try that. It's all falling for it. It's I don't know why. Okay, so now that we have the verse and the pre-read, can you do some sort of like transitional thing in the beat 
before the chorus to make it kind of define that yep. structure. Maybe introduce the piano during this next part then if we want it to feel bigger. Let's go grab some impacts and stuff. Let's try some of the newer ones. Let me just load up a few sweepy things, pile up a couple, and then organize this later. When we make top lines for DJs, we typically don't put in a drum pattern, but there are moments where we will put impacts, impacts or a kick or a clap just to give some sort of direction on where they can take it. Yeah, when you're writing songs to collaborate with a DJ, you don't really want to commit it to a certain style of beat. You want that to kind of be open to your collaborators. So that's a really great point. And kind of a reason why we're not going to go too heavy on the drums with this whole production is we want to kind of leave that open for the imagination and make them feel like it's like a remix stem to them. Right. And for the producers that are watching this, it is also very important for you to understand the songwriting process, because if you are Working with other writers, then you can communicate with them better with what you want and what you're looking for. And these are the types of things that you're going to be receiving from songwriters so that you can kind of get your wheels spinning on how you would fit this into your productions. Yeah, let's hear it. Say you want to follow me in my head, I love. I know you want to say me, and I say you feel it, I know it. I'm getting some chorus ideas. I'm getting some bass line ideas. <laughs> Let me just pick a uh, instrument for this bass pad. I'm just going to pick some of the stock Ableton 11 instruments. I'm hoping that there's maybe something new in here I haven't seen before. It's looking for like a standard, like a wide bass pad like that one. Yeah, it's perfect. Cool. Got to go down a couple octaves. So let's put the MIDI effect on here. Pitch minus 12. Yes. Nice. And I got some bass that to it. That makes it sound. Yep. Got some low end octave in there. You let me with a heavy high. And I want you to feel so far away. And I know when you feel so cold. And I know you away. You let me with a heavy high. And I know you feel so far away. And I know you see it so far. Loving this so far. All right. Let's go back to I our... I get excited when I'm hearing it come together. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't record. Sorry, I was all excited. My bad. I literally hit the letter next to the record shortcut, <laughs> and I was so excited, too. I was, like, headbanging and hit the wrong so letter. Okay, so I, I kind of... What if you said pick me up with a heavy heart? Ooh. It's crazy how I write lyrics. A lot of people ask me, what's the trick to writing lyrics? How do I get better at writing lyrics? I think it's more so about getting better at melody writing because when you are singing in gibberish like this, words will come out. Yep. It's almost also a skill of hearing the words in the gibberish. It's like a... Right. What's those puzzles called where there's like a bazillion letters in a grid and you have to find the words in a it? A crossword? Crossword puzzle, yeah. It's yeah. like almost like a crossword puzzle for your ears. Like you listen right. to, through the gibberish to find real words. Right, exactly. So my biggest piece of advice in writing lyrics is just finding your words that you're singing already and kind of building the song and the concepts around that. <laughs> I 
also, when I'm writing these songs for producers or DJs, I'm always going to add more than what I think they'll need. They might not want the post hook because they'll want to do their own drop or build up, but it's always important to include these things in case they want to have that or have the option of changing the structure of it. Or maybe they'll be like, wow, this would be the dopest intro ever. Yeah, And then they they weren't going to use it. And all of a sudden it's like the opening of the song and that's how everyone recognizes it. So you never know. One person's post chorus is another person's intro. Man, comping in Ableton 11 is easy. You just hit the the return key. That's awesome. And boom. Yes, we've been wanting this Ableton finally. I know. (laughs) I feel like I'm in a dream right now. Like one of my old dreams. (laughs) Yeah. It's not really necessary to redo it if it sounds good already, so I just fly it. Yeah, for now. and a lot of times it's like the automation on the plugin that's going to make it sound like it's transformed and grown. So, and Reed will definitely show you some mixing tricks oh, yes. to make this sound incredible. The most important aspect of this whole thing is the vocal production because it makes the producer's life easier, the DJ's life easier. It if makes you can... them like your idea better too. Yes, it sells the idea if the mix is good. It's so important. I cannot stress that enough. So you want to me in my head alone. I know you want to say me and I say you feel it I know and I it's in that for my cup yeah. it's in love for love baby as I'll fall in for it so I So why don't we just take a break from the production side and let's focus on lyrics because Reed actually helps me with my lyrics as well. He's a great lyricist. They used to call me verse two Versace. (laughs) They used to. You are verse two Versace. Every time I would always get stuck on the second verse, that's when Reed would swoop in with the ideas, like the amazing ideas. Can you go to the pre? I kind of want to work on the pre first. I hear See, yeah, you don't always have to start from the top. So I heard the word cup, maybe doing a metaphor. You fill my empty cup. What do you feel like? Is this like a sad song, Reed? Like I'm mo- like moving on with a heavy heart? Kind of reminds me of that bittersweet moment where you're like, okay, it is what it is. I'm just going to move forward and right. accept that it sucks. But it also could be a positive thing, like a melancholy type of feeling where you're moving on with a heavy heart because you're, you're holding on to those memories that you love about that person. Keep filling my empty cup. Yeah. Emotions are good Thursday. I'm oh, filling my empty cup, then broke it and spilled it on me. Broke it and spilled it on me. Mm, that's kind of interesting. Filling my empty cup, to break it and spill it on me. And then you just hit Command X down, Command V, and copy it down. I like having a record channel to put all the playlists, and then an, a lead channel to actually keep the ones you like. Filling my empty cup, to break it and spill it on me. Oh, for things I can't control. Ooh, I love that. Don't know why I keep falling for things I can't control. I just don't like can't. Let me hear it one more time. For things I can't control. Guess I keep falling for things I can't control. Yes, I keep falling for things I can't control. I like that take. Can you just tune that I? Things I can't. Yeah. I. Things 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 I. Things
trouble. I usually just like to keep my best takes and fix any slight tuning that's off, but most of the time we're pretty good. It will literally only be a note here and there. So you can just use that transpose function. What do you, what do you guys mean you don't fix notes manually? We, <laughs> we do, we just don't use Melodyne to do it. We just, yeah. between this and auto-tune, what else? We, do, we don't feel like we need much else. May, guess I keep falling yeah. for things I can't control. But it feels like you're ghosting now. That's the sauce. All right, cool. Let's hear that. But it feels like you're ghosting now. You feel my empty cup to break it and spill it all, mate. Nice. Guess I keep falling for things I can't control. Because it feels so far away. The good times feel so far. Yeah. Away, but when I'm with a heavy heart, all the good times feel so far away. Man, I want a heavy heart. feels so far away. So I like far away there. So maybe it's um. No, no, no one thought you would get. No one thought you would be so far. No one thought. Like never thought you would get so far away. I hear myself saying hard. So maybe it's like something like, why does this gotta be so hard? Or like, why does love gotta be so hard? Ooh. Why does love gotta be so hard? So hard. All right, let's try that. And a one -y, and a one -y. <laughs> I just need a click though. I know, I'm just. <laughs> That could be a double, that's a good double. While we're songwriting, we actually do our final vocal as well. So that means the hook, we always do a double left and right and uh, some harmonies as well. Yep, so let me actually rename this harm left, then we'll duplicate it and make this one harm right. And we're gonna pan them the same way we titled them. Cool. And then let me do the same thing with doubles. Labeling and keeping things organized is so important to your yep. workflow. And also, I know I'm going to want them quieter, so I'm just going to turn them all down. And I also know I'm going to want some auto-tune on them. Perfect. Yeah, let's put the vocal chain on. A fresh copy of lead vocal sauce. This one has automation on it. So let's take... Well, would you be putting lead vocal sauce on the backgrounds? Yeah, actually, we could do that. And then we're going to put a group plug-in to uh, kind of filter them all better, but just to get uh, this started quickly. Because cool. this already has like reverbs and delays and stuff. Actually, I could probably just put one on the whole group for the background vocals, convert this into a makeshift background sauce and put like an auto filter or something after it to make it not quite exactly the same, but a little bit less bright. Cool. And now let's copy our auto tune down onto all these channels. We already got one there. Cool. All right, so drag that down to our double. Let's try this again. punch in two things in the lead. The end bit, because it was slightly out of tune. So hard, hey. That one, delete that one. Okay, so let's just put this one down here. Oh no, they're both bad. Let's okay. punch both of those in. So hard, hey. yeah, that could be my double, that whole thing. So I can't control Moving on with a heavy heart Never thought you would get so far away Why does love gotta be so hard? So hard, ooh, hey, hey. So I think repeating that line, moving on with a heavy heart, and obviously the song is called Heavy Heart. Moving on with a heavy heart. Oh, thank God. I went to go hit the save button. 
don't ever wait this long to hit the save button. This was way too late in the oh game my God. to hit the save button <laughs> for the first time. We're terrible mentors. And it started doing the rainbow mouse when I saw the mouse turn you into a rainbow so of death. <laughs> Always save your project first thing and always save while you go, as you go. Someone tell me how long will it take? Oh yeah, please tell me how long will this take? Please tell me how long will this take? And I'm, I'm gonna fall apart with a heavy heart. Like, so like, please tell me how long will this take? Cause I'm close to falling. Cause I'm gonna fall apart with a heavy. Please tell me how long will this take? Cause I'm gonna fall apart with yeah. a heavy heart. Moving on with a heavy heart. Please tell me how long will this take? Cause I'm gonna fall apart with a heavy heart. All right, punch me in on the with the heavy heart part. Unfolding, like is only. I see the end unfolding. That's a really strong first line. Let's do that. I see the end unfolding. I know this story goes. Promises, promises are breaking. Like our promises that we made to each other are breaking. I see the end unfolding. I know this story goes. Promises are breaking. Draw Downbeat. Instead of harmonies, can you add a low pitch to the lead? Maybe that's what oh, it maybe needs, an artificial you know? Like low artificial pitch. layer instead. Let's try that at 50%. And let's drag this down and give it some distortion. Yeah, exactly. I think the snaps only come in on the pre. Yeah. Can you really, reverb really on. reverb those haze out? Yep. I was going to just put some of that on the snaps and on these haze too. I like doing on vocals, this plate reverb inside of the new convolution reverb it has some really good presets. Plate A is really good for vocals. Yeah, and I can take the auto tune off. Right, we don't need auto tune for gang vocals. So that's where we're going to end on the songwriting portion. I do want to add ad libs because I want to show you how I typically do them, how I record them.
I'm gonna take over just real quick and clean this up. That means I'm just gonna delete some of these breaths in the beginning. My breaths are really, really obnoxious, so I like to turn down the volume on them. Now that I've turned down all the consonants and breaths in my verse and pre-chorus, I'm going to delete all of these breaths in the background vocals because we only need the lead breath. So since I'm editing all of these background vocals at the same time, a quick way to do a fade is Command Option F. I just went ahead and cleaned up my entire vocal so that it's edited, comped, tuned, and all the volumes of everything sound good and even. Now it's time for Reed to do like a final mix and we are finished. So Kara did an excellent job writing, singing, and recording, and even editing and cleaning up this vocal. And as she was doing all that, I was actually tweaking and automating a lot of the parameters. You probably saw me doing it while she was talking here on the Sauce plugins, on the ad-libs, for example. I set up a chain that I liked by just filtering it way extra with the low cut and way extra with the auto filter, even a shortcut to add some auto pans so that the ad-libs don't always happen on the same side. Um, let's actually start at the very top with the lead and see what we think we can do to help maybe automate this a little further. We already have some, I'm just gonna hit the letter A and let's show you guys what automation we have so far. Promises are breaking And it feels like you're ghosting now You feel the my empty cup to Break it and spill it on me Guess I keep falling for things I can't control Moving on with a heavy heart I think I want to make a dry moment right before those two big drum impacts. I'm just going to pull down the reverb on the lead. And I might even have it stay down right here too, so that the reverb comes back when the vocals come back. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the slap. I just want completely dry, but compressed and EQ'd vocals on this last word. Just cause everything is so saturated, why not? For this chorus, I'm gonna take the glue and turn it up, and this is basically gonna hit the vocal with more parallel compression. And we created this low octave with little Alter Boy. I'm just gonna turn the mix down on it. I feel like I hear it too much. And for this last word, I'm gonna take the half note echo and pull it all the way down. Actually the quarter note echo too. Let's just have reverb on the very last word, make it feel as clean as possible. Hey, I love that. And the sauce already has a really sauced up reverb in it. As you could hear, it's like doing a little tremolo thing to make it feel a little bit more rhythmic than just a plain reverb tail. Let's take a listen to the very beginning. I like this little filter action going in here. I see the end unfolding. I know the story goes. The promises are breaking. And it feels like you're ghosting now. You feel the my empty cup to break it and spill it on me. Yes, I keep falling for things I can't control Moving on with a heavy heart Never thought you would get so far away Why does love gotta be so hard? So hard, oh, hey, hey. Moving on with a heavy heart Please tell me how long will this take? Guess I'm gonna fall apart
eyes on there. That's all sounding great. Finally, I wanna take all these vocals and group them up into a all vocals group. So we have our lead up here and all of our vocals down here. And I just wanna put a little bit more multiband compression up here on this entire group. I just love the way it glues the effects together with the dry vocal, especially on EDM vocals when you're just trying to give everything that extra little bit of push. So I'm gonna go into dynamics. Let's put the OTT preset on here. And this is super extreme. So we're gonna actually just dial it way back, like 8%. And then we're gonna push up the mids a lot and push up the highs a lot. So we're gonna be doing a lot of expansion, but at a, a really low amount. And we can even pull this back a lot because as we turn this up, it can get pretty loud. So let's try putting this at like 5, 10%. Promises are breaking without it, and it feels like you're ghosting now. Back up, fill my empty cup to break it and spill it all. May guess I keep falling for things I can't control. Moving on with a heavy heart, never thought you would get so far away. Why does love gotta be so with it? Finally, while we were recording, we were actually running the volume down at minus five, and I'm just gonna turn that back up. That's just to help it not feel so loud compared to your raw microphone while you're tracking vocals. But obviously now that you're mixing and about to just throw a final master plug in on here, I think that's a perfect time to just turn the volume all the way back up. Make sure you have full volume. And for mastering, I think I'm just gonna throw a FabFilter Pro L2 on here because if we're sending this to another DJ, I just wanna guarantee that they're gonna be able to open all the plugins in this session. That's why I use pretty much all stock plugins and, or popular things that people would have, like lead vocal sauce, a little Ultra Boy. And let's just put the FabFilter Pro L2 on the master. I target about zero to three decibels of attenuation. Let's go to the loudest part. Maybe back down a little bit. So there you have it, how to mix your vocal, kind of mixing as you're recording with just some very minor adjustments at the very end to wrap it all up together as a group and put a quick master chain on it so that you're ready to print your demo and send it to your collaborator. So speaking of collaborator, I'm gonna to toss it back to Kara to wrap things up. Now that Reed has done our final mix, let's go ahead and take a listen all the way through and I will share my final thoughts after we listen. Promises are breaking And it feels like you're ghosting now You fill up my empty cup to Break it and spill it all, mate Guess I keep falling for things I can't control Moving on with a heavy heart Never thought you would get so far away Why does love gotta be so hard? So hard
That sounds pretty good. <laughs> not bad for a quick mix. Yeah, no, not bad at all. I think this was a really cool experiment and because we've never really done a video like this before. I definitely want to do more because I think writing on camera and just showing the process will definitely help you guys and inspire you to get out there and collaborate with people, write, send your songs to other producers, other writers, other artists. That's what the music industry is about. What do you say we make this a series? Yeah, let's make it a series. So if you want to <laughs> see us write another song in another genre, today was EDM. Yes. Leave it in a comment below. Tell us what genre you want us to write next. Don't forget to check out IamCara.com. I have a lot of full length courses and vocal templates for sale that you might find useful in your creative journey. Also check out my mix lab and also Holoops.com. We use a lot of Reed's products. Comment below what genre you guys want to see us write next. Hey, peace out. Peace out.